Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, June 25, 2011. This week I've got your background series number 6, Filling a Background with Embellishments in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Here's a simple way to create a backdrop for photos and journaling using tags, journal spots, or frames. Begin by opening a digital paper and a tag frame or journaling spot. I'm using one of Katie Pertit's Curl Journaling Spots number 3 to create the sample. Press Ctrl N on your keyboard to create a new document. Now at this point you're going to have to do a little bit of math and I'm really sorry about that. You'll need to decide how many items you want across and down the page and then divide the number of inches across the page by the number of items you want. So for example if I wanted six items across the page, I would divide 12 inches by six and create a two by two inch document. Or if I want four items across and down my 12 by 12 inch page, I would divide 12 inches by four and create my new document at three by three inches, 300 pixels per inch, RGB color mode, and transparent. Get the move tool and then drag your tag, frame, or journaling spot onto your new transparent document. If you want the items to touch each other, you're going to need to resize them so that the tag, frame, or journaling spot touches all four edges of your new document. If you want a little space between them like I do, you can resize them but leave a little space around all four edges of your new document. Select Edit define pattern and click OK. Now select your digital paper and minimize the other two documents. Choose layer, new fill layer, pattern. The pattern you just created will be the last one in the list and it will be the new default so all you'll need to do is click OK. You've already done the math so leave the scale at 100% and click OK. Reducing the scale would make the images smaller and more numerous on your page. Your page will fill with your tags, frames, or journalers, making great little spots for photos, journaling, and embellishments. Using this method is so much faster and easier than duplicating an item 16 times and trying to distribute it evenly across the page. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for a tip on how to tilt, delete, resize and move the images that you've used to fill up your page.